Greetings people! Have you ever drunk the drugs without reading the receipt? Or eat too much food that has a lot of nutrient in it? Most people will take paracetamol when they have a headache, right? Are you one of them? Hi, I'm Ranti Wusipita Wodilogi, and I'm the representative from Yogyakarta Health Polytechnic for Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Kemenkes 2024. And on this opportunity, I would like to talk about the situation I mentioned before, which is related to the Ministry of Health Priority Program, that is, strengthening the health system for drug and food control. The main focus of this program is protecting public health by ensuring the safety, quality, and efficacy of drug and food products available in Indonesia. And we will talk about why this program became urgent in Indonesia and what we can do to support this program. Going into the first point, why this priority program became urgent in Indonesia. This does 2018 data shows 35.2% of Indonesia households keep medicine for self-medication. The reasons are often for easily treatable illnesses 46%, affordability 16%, and easy access 9%. However, self-medication must be used based on the patient disease and to rational medical standard. Yet, According to Harahat et al. 2017, self-medication with drugs was 59.4% rational and 40.6% irrational. Just like the situation before, we take our drug or food irrationally based on the self-medication. Did you know that the self-medication incorrectly can cause dangerous risk like resistance and overdosage? Besides self-medication, there are also other problems such as fake products. These products can cause immediate harm from allergic reaction to poisoning and even death. The urgency lies in preventing them for reaction, uh, from reaching the consumer and minimizing the potential for widespread health problem. Also, consumers will lose trust in the healthcare system because of the lack of product. This can lead to people delaying seeking professional help. And how can we support this program? Individuals and society play a crucial role. For example, first, buy medicine and food from trusted sources. Second, pay attention to expiration date. Third, read levels carefully, including the name of the active ingredient, dosage, the side effect, and contraindication. Fourth, store medicine and food properly according to the storage instruction on the levels. Fifth, if you find suspicious medicine or food, such as a packaging that is damaged, does not have a label, or has an unusual color or smell, report it to the Food and Drug Supervisory Agency or BPOM. And last but not the least, look for information about how to use medication safely and effectively, such as the proper dosage, when to take them, and drug interaction. We can all provide a good support for this program, including me. As an anesthetist, I have to prepare drug for patient, which means I need to read the labels carefully to dose the lotion. Therefore, I develop an anesthetic dilation dose calculation application that can be used by anesthesia student or anesthesia practitioner to access anesthesia calculation data for patient safety and to support this program. This application called Medicine Apps or measuring the dilation dose of anesthesi drugs. The application has scanning data feature, so it can be used to make dilution of the anesthesia drug easier and more efficient. The application shows the range doses of the dilution drug in split or in milli. So, with this developer, anesthetics can save a lot of time and ensure that the dosage range is safe. Good people, we all can be healthy. It is our choice to how to react about everything. So, stay happy, keep your body strong, and live a healthy life where we all belong.